The SkyCoach network consists of a press box station, a coach box antenna, a sideline station, and an end zone station. The antenna should be attached to the stations with the level up and the screw flush on the post. If the screw is not flush on the post, the antenna could possibly fall off the station. To ensure that the screw is flush, push down on both the antenna and the wing nut side of the screw while you tighten the wing nut. All stations are labeled. This is the press box station. When you look at the front of the press box station, you'll see there is an antenna with a red and black sticker. This points at your sideline red and black stickered antenna. There's an antenna with a red and white sticker that points at your end zone red and white stickered antenna. There is also a coach's box antenna that does not have a sticker on it. Looking at the back of the antenna, you'll see labels that say point at the end zone, point at the sideline. On the coach box antenna, you'll see that it produces the SC coach box Wi-Fi, and it says point at the coach box devices. When setting up the press box station, you'll want to make sure that the red and black stickered antenna points at your red and black stickered sideline. The red and white points out to your end zone red and white. If your end zone is on the left, you do not want to try to point from the right side of the box. Rather, you want to pull the antenna covers off, remove the ethernet cables, and swap the antennas. Now you can point the red and white stickered antenna out to the left. You will also want to make sure that the antennas are clear of any obstruction. In this case, the press box station is sitting up on the ledge with the antennas out in front of anything that could block it. If this station would have been set down on the table, the system would not have worked because that ledge would have blocked the signal. Other things that can cause issues are window sills, window dividers, and putting your station too close to the wall when you're trying to point out to the end zone. Also note that if you had your antennas up high and you were to open this window, you now would have created a double pane glass, which would have caused problems as well. Many times it's easier to just get the antennas outside, but there are other obstructions outside that you have to worry about as well. Fences, guardrails. Make sure you get the antennas up above any kind of obstruction and pushed as far forward as possible. While we're at it, to connect the stand to the press box station, just loosen the latch and twist the stand into the station instead of trying to spin the station around the stand. The coach box antenna attaches to the press box station. You can just set it on the table and point it at the coaches. All devices near the coach box station should connect to the SC coach box Wi-Fi. Sometimes your press box station is in a different room than where the coaches are. In that case, you want to move the coach box antenna into the room where the coaches are. That's as easy as swapping out the shorter ethernet cable for a longer ethernet cable. If you look inside the press box station, you'll see there's a router. Only use the yellow ports. Never use the blue port. While we're at it, if you have trouble getting power, this is where the power port is. Sometimes you may have a filmer that's close to your press box station, but that person is not close to the coach box antenna. For instance, in this case, the filmer might be on top of the press box while the coaches are down in the press box. Or the filmer might be in this room with the press box station while the coaches are in the other room. In that case, if the filmer is closer to the press box station than the coach box antenna, that filmer can get on the SC film box Wi-Fi. After plugging in the press box station, you can verify you have power by looking for the power light on the antennas, as well as the network activity light, and the router lights underneath the press box station. The sideline station has a sideline label on it. This station has two antennas, a red and black stickered antenna that points at the press box red and black sticker, an antenna with no sticker on it that points at the coach's devices on the sideline. On the back, point at the press box, point at the sideline devices, and this antenna is producing the SC sideline Wi-Fi. In most cases, you're going to want to turn one of the antennas 90 degrees to get the best angle. Here's an example of pointing the red and black stickered antenna at the press box red and black stickered antenna. And the antenna with no sticker pointing down the sideline at the sideline devices. You generally want to put this on the 35 yard line, point your red and black up at the press box, and point the antenna with no sticker towards your other 35 yard line so that the coaches are always in the path of the antenna. 
The only exception to this is if you only watch video at a TV station or at a specific table, then you can set the stand right beside that table, point your red and black up, and the one with no sticker at the table. You must get the antennas out away from any walls and up above any fences and crowds. A couple of minutes after the sideline station is plugged in, you will see four signal strength lights. That tells you that it is now connected to the press box station. If you do not have these signal strength lights, you cannot use the sideline station. All devices on the sideline should use the SC sideline Wi-Fi. The end zone station has an end zone label. It also has one antenna with a red and white sticker on it. This points at your press box red and white stickered antenna. On the back, point at the press box. When setting up out in the end zone, make sure that you're clear of the goalpost, as well as any concrete or random objects that might be out in the end zone. The end zone antenna is not working until it gets its four signal strength lights. One last note, the Skycoach antennas are waterproof, but you do not want water getting up into the box itself or into the plugs. It's always best to carry trash bags with you, cover the antennas, and pull the plugs up into the trash bag and tape it off. Also, if you have any kind of surge protectors or extension cords, make sure you cover those with bags as well. The trash bags will not impact the signal.